Hey guys, welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video, and this is going to be, I believe, episode 8 of my Tinker Quest chest popping series. I'm, uh, I'm burning through quite a bit of gold than I would normally be happy with, but uh, you guys have been showing a lot of support, especially with the chest opening videos, and I do appreciate it, but I hope you still enjoy my other Realm content. And for those of you who play League of Legends, I hope you enjoy the Why No One Plays series. I've been pretty busy keeping myself occupied with YouTube, and it's been very fulfilling. I just hope, uh, you know, I can continue the momentum and maybe into Month of the Mad God we'll see a greater surge of players watching my videos. Anyways, uh, apart from a bunch of mystery keys that have popped up, uh, I have roughly about 19 epic chests and I think 40 mighty chests? I'm actually not entirely sure how many I have. Uh, I've worked to do double refreshes every day just to sort of expedite the process so it doesn't take too long to do every single episode. And while you know, it does eat about 350 gold a day. I think it's worth it just to make these videos for you guys. And so yeah, we'll get into it. And same protocol as before. We'll start with all the silver chests and then we'll move on towards the uh, the epic ones. So I did promise you guys that I was going to be a little bit more lighthearted for this episode. And uh, I actually want to talk about... No, 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 no. Do not, do not do that. Thank you. Okay. I wanted to talk about something a little bit more uh, lighthearted just because the last time it was pretty serious, so to speak. And so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I don't have too much to talk about, but I guess I'll explain kind of what my plans are going to be entering into the summer, since we are officially now on summer vacation, even though a lot of us have been on vacation for a greater part of the year so far, given the quarantine and all that. So for the most part, I'll kind of just be making the same kind of content that I've been making for the past couple months. I don't really see a reason to change any of it. Although, I think... Uh, you know, we'll see. Frankly, I'm not entirely sure how much I want to... Like, what kind of new plans I have, because uh, at the moment, I'm kind of biding my time for Hightail to come out, and some people suggested that it might be coming out soon. Uh, but there's also, there's also another game that I've had a lot of uh, interest in, Trials of Titan. So, the lead developer, Juix, or I think, um, I don't know if he's comfortable with me calling him by his real name on my videos, so I'm gonna assume he's not. And yeah, he's approached me and he said that he's interested in having me be a content creator for Trials of Titan, kind of look into it. And looking into it, I'm also very excited because it's a project that is meant to be a spin off of Realm of the Mad God, but I think it has a lot of awesome. Why is my pet not being stasis? Uh, it has a lot of awesome potential, and I'm looking forward to seeing what will come out of it. Uh, I believe he said he wants to grow it completely on his own, and later on in the future he said he was going to incorporate some more people in his development, and because I study game design, you know, I have quite a bit of knowledge and uh, education on various subjects of game development, and so I hope I can maybe in the future be added onto his team, either as not really a developer, but maybe more as like a game designer or something like that, I'll see. Apart from that, my direction with the channel overall has been going pretty smoothly. I already mentioned to you guys that in the foreseeable future, I obviously will not be doing Realm forever. Uh, and some of you guys were afraid that I was going to be quitting really, really early. That's not the case. I'll still be here for as long as Realm provides entertainment and continues to be fun for me to play. It's just, if something does happen in the future- Ooh, we got an orange bag. If something does happen in the future though, um, and I do step down, just know that I will one day come back to Realm because Realm is- Ooh, we got two G-Gems, awesome. I'll always come back to Realm, right? Ah! <laughs> of course it's the first mate hook, why wouldn't it be? Okay, we got two G-Gems though, that's awesome. I'm actually running out of space, so you know what, I'm gonna put my, my equips in my mark chest because I'm running out of space. Uh, I actually should start doing my next giveaway. I've been hosting a giveaway about once a month, that's kind of the goal I had in mind. Uh, but yeah, I'll continue to do Realm content sometime in the future. It's just one of those games that I don't really play for an extensive period of time. It's just something that like, if I ever feel the urge to play Realm again, I kind of come back. But this is the longest I've been doing Realm for, and I'm surprised that I haven't gotten burned out by it yet. Although, it could be happening soon. That being said, DECA did say that they're announcing a bunch of new content coming out, a bunch of different changes. And so, like I said, they haven't given us a reason to sort of not play. And 
Realm is one of those games where you need to set goals for yourself. Those who get bored of the game are because they don't really have anything in particular that they're looking for. And while Realm is one design, like by design, it's intended to be a game where you, since you don't need to get everything, right? Like white bags are awesome, all the untier drops are great, but you don't need to get them all, right? You can still function perfectly fine with wine cellar tops, and most people do. Some people don't value collecting white bags as much as others. Awesome, Colossus Shield. And, uh, ooh, foul. Okay, we're getting quite a few wine cellar tops, despite them being silver chests. It's not a priority for everyone to collect all of the white bags, and I understand that. But there are still other ways that you can spice up your gameplay in Realm, and I think a lot of players, they don't really explore that all too much. For me, I play Realm because it makes for good content. It's a nice relaxing game. I understand there are also not too many people who enjoy grinding games, especially with the current generation being more concerned about immediate gratification. I've just been one of those players who've always wanted to kind of... I enjoy playing games that stimulate long-term growth, right? Like, I'm not really into those quick fix games like Fortnite or PUBG, because sure, while there are ranked systems in those games, each game in particular doesn't really feel like your lead it's building up towards something particularly spectacular. That's the main appeal that came from MMORPGs or other games like uh, Minecraft in particular. Oh, white bag, first white bag of the video. Wow, I'm getting a lot of wine cellar tops today. What's going on? I'm not complaining though. This will all go towards the giveaway, which I hope you guys are excited for. A recomp. So I guess instead of white bags, we're getting uh, wine cellar tops. Awesome, a scepter of devastation and another hook. Nice. Uh, I could, you could never have too many of these. This is a great UT. Okay. Just making sure I have the space for this. It's uh, quite a hassle maintaining all of my mark chests, that's for sure. Right, where was I? So, long-term games where every time you log off the game or quit the game, you have always progressed forward one step further uh, than you were before. Those are the kind of games I enjoy, which is why MMOs are really big fun for me. And while there are people who have, there are people who have suggested that I try other MMOs like Path of Exile or Guild Wars 2 or something like that. I'm kind of looking more for new games because while yes, there are a bunch of good MMOs out there like Final Fantasy 14, my friends have been trying to get me into that. I wanted to pick a game that is new, that I can sort of be like a pioneer, like a forerunner of that uh, of the content creation for that game. Because, you know, my ambitions do tie in with my gameplay, and I figured that's like the, my best course of action. There's a lot of games that came out that I thought would be that sort of game that I could do for a long time, like Cube World or Maple Story 2, uh, or earlier Minecraft Dungeons, but I just realized that those games were not really sort of the things that would give me all too much gratification out of just playing uh, every day and grinding out. And Realm is acting as a pretty solid placeholder for that because the longer you play the game, the more you grow. And yes, while you die, you can still grow and continue to build your characters. The safer you play, the more you improve at the game, the better you get, and the more you wealth you can build up. It does help also to have a lot of vault spaces. Of course, not everyone has as many vault chests that I do, but even so, even if you don't have as many vault spaces, you can still grow your characters, you can still grow your account, and uh, just grow your experience with the game. And that's kind of what I look for the most when I play a game. And which is why my favorite games have always been games where you can, except the only exception being maybe Smash Bros, but that's just because it, there's something wrong with a little bit of mindless fun here and there. I have like a mixture of competitiveness and, oh my goodness, the mushroom keeps killing the chest quickly. I'm also a very competitive player. I like to play games very seriously. Another white bag? What do you get? Another Water Dragon Silk Grove. Awesome. Oh, I just love this sprite so much. Yeah. So those are pretty much the games that I like to play the most. And uh, Realm is sort of occupying the long-term lifestyle type game where I just log on and do my dailies. Kind of like, uh, I guess you can compare this to what many people would play in terms of like GTA. GTA is a big lifestyle game. Uh, the Sims is a big lifestyle game. There's just a demographic of players who enjoy games that you incorporate into your daily life and uh, you sort of grow. One recently that's been very popular, especially during the quarantine, was Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing has always been a game that I don't really play too much, but I love watching videos of it just because it looks like a lot of fun. And that's kind of the 
sort of types of players you run into, and I suppose Realm is fitting that lifestyle for me. It's awesome. You know, maybe there might be some days where it feels a little monotonous, but you don't- there's no pressure to keep playing, right? You can just play whenever you want to, and that's kind of the beauty of it. Plus, of course, making videos for you guys is also a big passion of mine. I'm the type of person where I dislike working if it doesn't mean something to me. And funnily enough, so my birthday is March 29, and uh, that means my horoscope is Aries. And I, for one, think that astrological signs are full of crap because there's no way you can dichotomize almost 8 billion people into, what, 12 different categories? So I just found the whole notion stupid. That being said, there was one thing about Aries that kind of caught my attention. And one of the main dislikes of people in that sort of birth range, uh, like date range, is that they dislike work that does not use one's talents. There are some things I like to do that I'm not particularly talented at, but mostly I'm the type of person where I have no, I guess, desire to do something if it doesn't feel fulfilling to me at all. Which means even if I work a really good paying job, if I feel like I'm getting absolutely no satisfaction out of it, then I don't care how much it pays, I don't want to do it. YouTube, even though my viewership has drastically decreased compared to the likes of MapleStore days, in fact, there are some days where I lament over quitting the game because this is probably the best time to have grown my channel in the MapleStore community because some of my friends who I still talk to, who are also MapleStore content creators, they have been getting so many views and I've been getting kind of jealous, not gonna lie. But at the same time, it feels so good to see so many players approach me in game and, you know, say hi, I love your videos and stuff like that. It feels really nice to get, get those like small compliments and it's cheesy, but it means a lot for to us that just those tiny little messages of people expressing their gratitude that we're serving as good entertainers, it really gives us a feeling of fulfillment. And I kind of miss that because I spent about four months or like not really four months more like eight months in the stock market and it was a pretty stressful experience because i just had days where is that a white bag oh it's a white bag wait how did five bags drop what the heck oh i see i see okay i actually want to pick this up and put this somewhere else coral ring all right uh okay come on Ooh, hide your skin Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way just so I can see the white bag. What do we get? Another water dragon silk robe, what the hell? Okay, at least we haven't gotten a bad white so far. It's nice, very nice. Awesome. Okay, where was I? Uh, shoot, I actually forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, the stock market has put me under a lot of stress and looking back, even though I don't regret my decision, it was a great learning experience and a pretty expensive one, <laughs> but uh, looking back, I noticed that most of my stress and I suppose depression came from the stock market and if I never went into it, not only would I have saved a lot of money, but I would have avoided any stress, most, like about 99% of the stress I've experienced in the first half of 2020 altogether. And going back to YouTube content creation, which was what I was doing before, has sort of brought back that sense of hope again. And uh, my mood has drastically increased and I'm really happy about that because been kind of looking for a little bit of a pick-me-up. Uh, obviously, I'm not too satisfied with where I am right now and I want to make sure I can continue growing because a big dream of mine was to make YouTube a living. So I'm far from being able to do that, but then again, this is certainly a lot more enjoyable than what I was doing before and so thank you guys for that. I really appreciate all the positive feedback I've been getting in my vids. I hope I can continue to entertain and yeah, so far, uh, the loot has been pretty good, even though we haven't been getting as many whites as my previous videos. I'm definitely seeing a lot more wine cellar tops, which uh, you can never go wrong. Now, I'm pretty sure I have to refresh my vault because uh, a lot of my gift chests... Ew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a full row, so I need to actually leave and re-enter my vault. There you go. Okay. Wow, I still have... Oh, <laughs> it's just my keys. Did I go through all of my... My silver chests? Because I feel like there's still a whole bunch of stuff I have to go through. 
Okay, well for the time being, we'll pick up our epic ones. We'll start working on those. Uh, do I have any more nests? Let's see. Nope. So I guess we'll do shatters. Uh, did, did I really only have two? Okay. Boing. Oh, I love poisons. Okay, what do you get? <laughs> Speaking of poison, Bane Serpent. Wow, so I just realized I've talked non-stop for the first 15 minutes of the video. <laughs> At least, um, well, I didn't stutter too much, so I'm happy with that. I think I'm, get think I'm getting kind of uh, retraining my muscles in terms of uh, just retraining my commentary muscles because before, I actually was pretty good at commentating just non-stop and finding ways to talk, but after not doing YouTube for a long period of time, I've sort of gotten a little rusty, but I think I feel myself getting back into the groove, getting my mojo back, and uh, it feels great. So let's see what we have. We'll do Crystal Cavern. We have a lot of Crystal Caverns, actually, so I'll take care of... Hmm. Okay, no, I really want to get through my... I want to see what all my chests are, what chests I'm missing from. But I don't know what I want to take out. I got a lot of potions. Um, ch 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 I guess we'll break out all the standard quest chests for the time being and put them somewhere where I can. Yeah, they don't take up too much space. Yeah, we'll take those out. I have more, right? There you go. Is there an empty slot? There you go. It's very hard maintaining all the marks that are required to uh, do double refresh days every day. I'm not going to do this all the time though, because I don't want to burn myself out with too many quest chest videos, but I figured because you guys enjoyed them, why not continue working on them? Wow, I still have a full vault? What? <laughs> um, shoot. I just want to make sure I have all my quest chests available. I think I do. Okay. Oh right, I gotta put my Bane Serpent somewhere. There you go. Disrupting my OCD just for the sake of this video. Okay. Let's do two at a time. Pop them poisons, let them do the work. Oh, red bag. Awesome, a Bloodsucker, another Hydra skin. One more thing. Stay tuned for another giveaway announcement I'm going to be making. Because I happen to, uh, if you guys watch my- Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, whatever. If you guys have attended my previous giveaway, you'll know that I intend to try to make two giveaways. Or not two giveaways, one giveaway per month. Uh, and just essentially give you guys all of the extra stuff that I've obtained over the course of a month that I don't need. And uh, just help the other players out who don't have as privileged of uh, a supply of equipment that I do. So be ready for that. I'll try to pick a time zone that's accommodating to as many players as possible. And I hope uh, you guys attend. It's going to be a lot of fun because the way you can win these items is to uh, answer trivia questions. Whether it be realm trivia or just silly little questions. So everyone has an equal chance to win. How come sometimes this stasis is my pet and sometimes it doesn't? I think it has to be within like a certain radius. Okay, and now we're getting a bunch of potions. We haven't gotten a white bag since the double silk rope, but because the three white bags we've gotten are really good, uh, I'm not really complaining too much. I would still like one more, you know, just to... My quota is to try to get four per episode, since like given the amount of chests I have. Man, I got... Oof, I got a lot of stuff. It's always a hassle trying to organize everything. Uh, we got another marble. Yeah. Let's start working on the crystals. I've actually been getting quite lucky with my crystal opening chests. Uh, or not crystal, crystal opening chest, but with fungals. I've been getting so many whites from Fungal Cavern, which is awesome, because some of them are really good. Speaking of white bags and fungals, awesome. 
see what we get. Awesome! A cave dweller trap! Okay, so I got my first one uh, yesterday, I think. No, not yesterday, a couple days ago. This trap is broken. This trap is busted. It's also really cool. And I love Huntress a lot, so I got a second one. That's awesome. Man, I love, I love just, especially if it's a new white, like, is, if I get a bunch of old ones, okay, I actually do have quite a few silk ropes, I think I have like three, so this brings up to five, but, uh, or scepters, I think I have, I don't know how many scepters I have, I think six at this point, but every time I get a new white or white I don't have too much of, or too many of, excuse me, it really makes me excited because I live by spares, I've always been the type of person where you want to have a lot of everything, I'm not a hoarder per se, but I have a, a spare keyboard, a spare mouse, a spare headset, a spare uh, spare earbuds, spare monitor, I have a spare... Literally everything. <laughs> because I always enjoy the convenience of having like, let's say, because you never know when something is going to break, right? Or when you lose something. And so therefore having a backup already available to you, it's extremely helpful because even with how fast uh, shipping has become and how efficient with like Amazon Prime and all that. It still takes a while for things to get here and especially with some of the items that we use so frequently on a day-to-day -day basis. It's kind of annoying having to go a day or two or even longer without that convenience and therefore I like to live by having a spare everything. That kind of carries over into video games. So like in Minecraft, I always have spare diamond pickaxes, spare diamond armor or spare everything and in Realm, I like to have spare whites, so I like to hoard a bunch. That's also something that I think makes my longevity for the game more, I guess. Or rather, that's something that keeps my enjoyment of the game very high, is that some people, they would be satisfied just getting one or two of that white back. For me, I want like five or ten if I can help it. And uh, that's what keeps me going in the game. Okay. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied. We got really good- we keep getting good whites. I don't know why. Like, I haven't had the best luck when I first started the series, but towards the- you know, as the series started gaining more popularity, I've been getting <laughs> noticeably luckier, which uh, I'm not complaining in the slightest. Unfortunately though, I'm running out of character slots. I ended up uh, somewhere like in, in around like May, I purchased a bunch more character slots, and uh, I've also made a couple of my character slots just as uh, storage mules, all these wizards. But I'm running out of space. I need to get more character slots. I have too many 8-8s now because, I don't know, like I said, I keep a very solid safety margin. I just never die. <laughs> like in the time I die on a character, I would have made already another like 4 or 5 8, eight characters. I don't even play the game that much. I just have a lot of stuff. because, Or I just get a lot of stuff because I rush a lot of endgame. To Ooh, white bag. A void. That could be... <gasps> What if it's an Omni? Knowing my luck is a source stone or a nil. It's always a source stone. Why, do I, why is it just always a source stone? <laughs> okay, white bags last a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump these quickly just to uh, free up my space. Goodness, I got too much, too much junk. All right, we're just gonna start throwing things randomly just because I'm starting to clutter a little too much. What do we get? Ah. Of course, it's a nil. I can't complain. Nil is still quite... It's still pretty solid of a of a white bag. It's just not really my kind of white bag. Because I don't use ninjas all too much. Although, maybe I should. Maybe I should start getting into those. Yeah, I'm just going to start throwing random potions everywhere. Almost done. Three more to go. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, just double checking. Is that all? Yep. One, two. See if we can get one more. I know it's stretching it, but all right. So we have five whites at this point, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can get six. If we don't, I'm already happy with this. This is a good episode. Definitely a lot happier than the last one. You know, funny thing is to this day, despite having made videos for a long time, and having received countless comments that say they like that the viewers really find my voice soothing and stuff, I to this day still don't know why. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, thank you. I just wondered 
what about it is the most soothing because uh, I've watched a lot of different YouTubers who have, in my opinion, much better audio quality than me. Yeah, that's just something that's been on my mind for a while, especially whenever I stream. I get a lot of people commenting. Thank you, by the way, everyone who attends my live streams. It, they've been a lot of fun. I wish I could stream more frequently and for longer periods of time, especially for those who are from Europe, because I stream at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific, and I know that that's not very time zone friendly for those who are across the pond. It's just streaming is pretty tough for me because I get exhausted from streaming, even if I only do it for two hours or maybe three hours. And so therefore it's, yeah, it takes a lot out of me, but being able to fit sort of a consistent time schedule has been helping me out a lot, giving me sort of a routine for the evening. And they've been getting more fun. So hope I can keep doing it. But yeah, that wraps up for this quest chest popping episode. A lot more talking. I'm sorry about that. I don't talk normally this much. I guess I just had a lot on my mind again. But I had a lot of fun. I just finished a nice live stream where I got quite lucky on my PPE Archer. And so this is a good way to wrap up the evening. If you guys enjoyed watching, a rating would be much appreciated. And don't forget to comment down below. Just if you want to say anything, if you want to talk about random topics, I love reading comments. Uh, I may not respond to all of them, but it's just because I sometimes don't know what to say. Or there's just a lot of you guys too. I think that's going to be- I, no, there's actually one thing- one more thing I want to say, I forgot what it was. Uh... Ah, eh, whatever. Alright guys, have a good night, and uh, thank you all so much for watching, hope to see you again soon in the next video. Take care.